Let's talk about what to bring when you're photographing a destination wedding. Of course, passport. That is not expired, by the way. Hi everyone, this is Yulia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm in Cancun, Mexico for a wedding and I'm gonna go over equipment that I bring for a destination wedding photography. I usually take two suitcases with me for a wedding and this is my carry-on Temba suitcase where I keep all my lenses and cameras. And this is my Alien Chrome uh, suitcase where I have all my lighting equipment and I check in this bag. So let me just show you what's in my carry-on bag. Uh, here I have all my lenses and I bring with me five lenses all the time. Uh, this is my 24 to 70 lens. It's a wide to medium uh, zoom lens that I use uh, for ceremony all the time. And another important lens that I use for the ceremony is a 70 to 200 millimeter uh, telephoto zoom lens. It's an amazing lens, 2.8 um, uh, aperture. Um, here I have my 50 millimeter lens, uh, which I use for getting ready photos for the portraits of the groom, bride, bridesmaids, groomsmen. Um, <clears throat> very good lens. And here is my 105 millimeter macro lens for all the detail shots, uh, rings, uh, invitations, shoes, and so on. And this is my ultra wide angle. Uh, 14 to 24 millimeter lens and I use it to create uh, signature shots uh, during the formal session. This is a really cool option for those type of images. I carry two camera bodies with me. Uh, here is my Nikon D850. This is my main body and I always have my backup camera with me. I have my two ND filters and uh, these are ND filters for 24 to 70 and 70 to 200 millimeter lenses. Um, they're very important, especially if you're, you, if you're doing an outdoor ceremony uh, on a bright day or on the beach, so those are very helpful. On the side pockets, I have my extra batteries here. Here I have my Pelican uh, SD card case where I keep lots of SD cards. I also have my cleaning kit in the suitcase. So this is what I have in my carry-on suitcase. Uh, let me go over the one that I check in. So here is uh, all my lighting equipment. And these are the speed lights. I have four speed lights for reception and these are magmod diffusers that i put on top of my speed lines they're pretty cool and they are magnetic uh, speed lights by the way are high sync speed lights so here i have my magmod grids and um, in this bag I have my magma gels and these are for the for the speed lights. They're also magnetic and pretty cool and easy to work with. Or if you want to change gel, just place it here. Oops. And that's it. Really fast and easy, especially for the wedding day. For the formal session, I use a more powerful source of light and for this wedding, I brought my ELB 400 by Ellen Chrome. This is the battery pack. I've been using it for over five years and I love it. 
in. This is a quadra flash head uh, that goes with ALB400. This is, by the way, a high sync uh, flash and it can overpower the sun. Uh, I use it uh, during the entire formal shoot and the battery lasts for a very long time. Uh, this is Skyport uh, by Elinchrom. Uh, this is a transmitter that goes on my camera that controls all my Elinchrom lights. This is cable that connects my battery pack with the flash head. This is a Snaplox uh, Octa uh, that works with my Elinchrom water flash head and also works with my continuous light that I'm gonna show you in a moment. And there is my continuous light Stella Pro CLX10 by Light and Motion. It's a pretty powerful source of light and I love using it for getting ready portraits. Uh, also for details. And another very important element that I always bring with me is the duct tape. And for this specific wedding, I brought my sunscreen because we're in Cancun uh, and it's pretty hot and sunny. So this is very important. And one thing that I forgot to mention is to uh, bring um, lots of extra batteries for your camera and charger. And I keep my batteries here on the side pocket of the suitcase. As far as the light stands go, I usually need three to four light stands, but for this specific wedding, I contacted a local Mexican videographer who is also shooting the wedding here, and he was kind enough to bring me uh, all the light stands that I need. Uh, they are OV Films uh, Cancun, check them out, they're really amazing, really great work, and make sure to follow them on Instagram. That's pretty much it for today. Uh, it was a short video, just wanted to go over equipment that I bring with me for a destination wedding. I hope it was useful and I'll see you next time.